Tonight we're showcasing Action Comics number 43 from December 1941. Before I show you some close-ups of this very cool book, I wanted to let you know I've owned this book for over 20 years, probably closer to 25. I bought it from Mark Wilson, who at the time had, uh, he was running PGC Mint Comics. It was after he had his world's finest comic business and he'd switched over to PGC Mint. And he had had a reputation as someone who sometimes worked on books and might have sold them without disclosing the work that he had done. And the time period where I bought this, he was trying to kind of rebrand himself as someone who didn't do that anymore, that always divulged when work had been done. So of course I was buying it raw because this was prior to CGC uh, opening its doors. Uh, so I took a chance. I think I paid about $1,100 for it, which was a lot of money back then. But he had it advertised, I think as a, Remember, this is before the numerical grading system. He had it advertised as a VF plus near mint. So um, I took a chance, I got the book, I loved the book. And as soon as CGC opened its doors, I sent it in to be certified. So if you look at Wikipedia, CGC started grading books on January 4th, 2000. And if you look this up uh, in the registry, this particular copy was graded just nine days later on January 13th, 2000. Let's take a look at the book. All right, looking at the label, Action Comics number 43, DC Comics, December 1941, creamed off white pages with a Fred Ray cover. And if you look at that cover date, the December 1941, this book actually hit the stands October 14th of 1941, about two months prior to the cover date. So about two months before we entered the war. And we already have Superman fighting Nazis on the cover before we've even entered the war, which I think is pretty cool. You can tell from that that uh, it was fairly certain months before we entered the war that it was gonna happen eventually. I'm a big fan of Fred Ray. I've mentioned that in other videos. I think he's kind of my prototypical golden age Superman artist. And then this great image of a terrified Nazi looking at Superman coming straight at him. Let me give you some close-ups here. This appeared for several years on the cover of Action Comics with that original S chest emblem, which has been updated on this issue. Got a burning building there in the bottom, the background. Other guys parachuting. So for me, this is uh, kind of a quintessential Golden Age book. There's something, and I've, again, I've mentioned this in other videos, there's something about the combination of superheroes and World War II that really works for me. I just love that combination. And so for as long as I've been buying Golden Age comics, uh, the issues that have really meant the most to me have been war covers. And this one's fantastic. There are only two copies higher grade than this one. This one's a 9.0. There's a single 9.2 and a single 9.4, and neither of those copies have sold in a very long time. They don't even appear uh, on GPA. So, and GPA has been around for, what, over 10 years now, maybe 15 years? So, there hasn't been a high grade sale of this book in a very long time. Let me show you the back cover. Good old Daisy Air Rifle. This ad appeared on so many Golden Age books. Reminds me of a Christmas story. Red Rider, 1,000 shot cowboy carbine. Really cool. As long as you don't put an eye out. All 
All right, as far as value, uh, like I said, a high grade copy hasn't sold in a long time. Um, 8.0s tend to sell in about the $3,000 uh, range. I'm thinking a 9.0 probably would sell in the eight to $10,000 range, but I have no plans to sell this book. Uh, my Golden Age Action War covers are really the core of my comic collection. And so I tend to hold on to them and upgrade when I can. I have most of the war covers. There's a few that I'm missing uh, that I want to pick up uh, in the next few years. Uh, another word about CGC. When they first opened their doors in 2000, there's a general consensus today that their grading was a little bit tighter and that they were really tough on page quality. So this has cream to off-white pages. I'm fairly certain that if I were to resub this book today, that it would receive either an off-white or off-white to white designation. And it's quite possible it might grade it at a 9.2. In fact, I might bring this to San Diego in July. Uh, they do, CGC does free consultations at some of the bigger conventions, including San Diego where they'll take a look, look at your book. They can't guarantee anything, but uh, they can give you an idea of if there's a possibility that your book might upgrade. So I might bring this to San Diego, show it to them and see what they have to say. At the very least, I'm probably gonna get it re-slabbed. Uh, they recommend that you re-slab books every seven years. This clearly has been in the same slab for 20 years. So, um, just to be careful, I'm going to get it re-slabbed. Also, books tend to look nicer in the newer slabs. The, uh, the materials are, are clearer, so you get a better idea of the true colors uh, on the cover. Just a really stellar, beautiful book. One of my favorites. So that's Action 43. I think it's a classic Golden Age issue. Uh, if you have an interest in this sort of book, I would highly recommend adding one or two Action War covers to your collection. They never go down in value. They, they reach plateaus and stay there for a while, but they never go down. Um, and they're just beautiful books to own. I'm really proud of the, the nicer Golden Age actions that I have in my collection. That's why I keep them for so long. That's it for tonight. Um, I will see you on Facebook. I'll see you on Statue Forum. I'll see you on the Collectors Freaks boards. Um, if you have not joined our Facebook group yet, please do. The Secret Sanctuary Facebook group I just started it the other night. It'd be fun to see more of you there. So have a great night, guys. I'll see you soon.